Hi guys, Steve Good here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. Going to do a quick video tonight that's a little different than what we usually do, and that's because I'm getting a lot of emails from people wanting to be able to install fonts on their computer uh, to help them in designing patterns uh, for their scroll saw. And we use fonts in all kinds of different patterns, uh, and uh, you'll hear me talk about them a lot on my website. So I just wanted to real quick put to get put this video together so I could. Uh, uh, send somebody to it when they ask me the question on how to install a font. So there's different ways of doing it, but I'm going to show you probably what is considered to be the correct way of doing it. Um, if you look here on the screen, this is a simulated board where you can see I have what's called a stencil font cut out of this board. So this would be similar to what you would be cutting out uh, on a scroll saw. You could also just cut these kind of fonts out. Um, you know, and use them for a desk nameplate or something like that. So just about all fonts are useful, so uh, I'll show you how to install them. Uh, in Windows Vista, and it's very similar in Windows XP, and I'll try to tell you the few small differences as we go here. But in Vista, click on your Start button. That'll open up your Start menu, and you're going to go to your Control Panel. Now, if this was Windows XP, you would do Start, Settings, and then Control Panel but they've eliminated the settings menu item uh, in Vista. So go to the control panel and that'll open that up. Let me get it over here where you can see it. And once you get your control panel opened up, uh, there's a couple different ways that you might see it. Um, this is what it looks like in the Windows XP view and if you use the classic view it looks like this. So either way you can go back and forth but what you're looking for is the icon that says font. So in the classic view we've got this icon right here that says fonts and we're going to open it up by clicking on it and that will open up your fonts directory on your computer. So all these fonts, all these files listed here are all fonts that are already installed on my computer. Now if I want to add a new one to it, all I have to do is get over here in this white section and right click with my mouse and let me get over here better where you can see it. Right click with my mouse and you'll see a menu pop up and the very bottom selection of that menu is install new font. Click on that and what that'll let us do is that'll let us navigate to wherever on our hard drive we have downloaded a font off the web or maybe taking it off of a font disk uh, but one way or another you've gotten a font and usually this will be off the web and there's uh, literally hundreds of different web fonts online so you can do your search and find those and just download them to your computer and then you're going to follow this procedure okay I'm going to navigate to where I know I've downloaded the latest font and it happens to be in a directory I call downloads and in this list of fonts it'll list all the fonts that are in this directory and I happen to have downloaded one called space doc stencil which is a true type font so once I see this font all I have to do is click the install button over here so I click install Windows Vista will ask for permission to install that font click continue and that font's already installed on my computer so it's going to give me uh, the option to replace it. In this case I'll just say yes because it doesn't matter and that font is now installed and ready to be used in CorelDRAW, uh, Inkscape, Microsoft Word, basically any Windows program that uses uh, fonts and allows you to select different fonts that, that stencil font will then be available. So what you could do now if you don't have a graphics program is you could bring up Microsoft Word or Works or whatever, select that font you just downloaded, size it to the size you need and then print it out and you'd have your scroll saw pattern. Now of course we've talked before on my website about wingding style fonts and those are fonts that are pictures. You could download those, use those as part of a pattern. So fonts are very important for the scroll saw and designing patterns and this just gives me a video that I can point to to show you guys how to do this. I'm Steve Good. I hope this video was helpful and we'll see you next time here at the scroll saw workshop.